here in downtown Fort Worth for another exciting edition of the Mac Attack here at Ojos Loco Sports Cantina. I am Mac Engel of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, and we are here to observe a day of mourning as the Dallas Cowboys had it handed to them by the best team in the National Football League, the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals are really good. Let that sink in. The Arizona Cardinals are really good. This is akin to the Chicago Cubs being World Series champions. These things don't happen, nor should they happen for that matter. The Cardinals are really good. They're seven and one for a reason. And the Cowboys were really average. They needed one thing to go their way on Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Whedon had to be better than Brandon Whedon, and that didn't work out. And as a result, the Cowboys lost. They've dropped two straight, and now we know that if the Cowboys don't have Tony Romo, they're dead. You know, before the season started, I thought TCU could win about eight or nine games. I thought they would be ready to beat some of the big-time opponents of the Big 12, the Oklahomas, the Oklahoma States, Baylor, maybe. Well, now, however, I'm all in. TCU can win the Big 12 this season, and that's only its third year of the Big 12. they got to beat Kansas State. Kansas State is coached by one of the best coaches in the history of college football in Bill Snyder, who has a mind blank on everybody. If TCU can get by Kansas State at home this weekend in Fort Worth, they can get to the Final Four. Will they get by Kansas State? I think they will because the game's in Fort Worth and they're good enough to do it. This guy played Jerry Jones better than anybody has ever played Jerry Jones. Remember, this guy got like $10 million guaranteed by the Cowboys a few years ago and he played and started one time. They came close, but at the end, the problem was he was Kyle Orton. Held out, didn't want to come back to work, the Cowboys said, okay, here's all of your money. Then he continues to hold on and says, you know what, I think I want to play NFL football again. The Buffalo Bills, Sucker Central, decided to give Kyle Orton all of that money, and now he's starting in Buffalo without having to, to do a shred of off-season workouts. Kyle Orton, good for you. You're my hero. However, you are not the reason the Dallas Cowboys lost on Sunday against the Cardinals. Because even if you had played on Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals, you would have lost too. Because at the end of the day, you're still Kyle Orton. However, you are my hero because you played them all. Well done, sir. Yes, absolutely not. This, the Cowboys lose on Sunday in London to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, it is not time to push the panic button. It is time to destroy, maul, and crush the panic button. Because at that point, 10 and 6, 11 and 5 is long gone. And then we can finally have our dreams realized of four consecutive 8 and 8 seasons. Something that's never happened before in the history of the NFL. So if the Cowboys are going to be all in, they got to beat Jacksonville, which is 1 and 8. Not even possible in the NFL these days. If the Cowboys don't win on Sunday, 8 and 8, here we come. Well, thank you very much for joining us for another exciting edition of the Mac Attack. As you can see, my good friend Christy is not here with us today. But apparently she is here with us in spirit. She elected to pull a Kyle Orton and not come to work today after the Dallas Cowboys humiliating loss against the Arizona Football Cardinals on Sunday. Make sure to join us next week here at Ojos Loco Sports Cantina in downtown Fort Worth for another thrilling edition of the Mac Attack.